Our help is in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this morning we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. And so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. And your brothers and sisters, let us take a moment and confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those who the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion, singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. All your works give you thanks, O Lord, and your faithful bless you. They speak of your glory of the glory of your reign and tell of your great works. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have called us to faith and surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses, your saints. Encourage us by their example to lay aside every sin that we may one day join them in your eternal kingdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every race, nation, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding up palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne 
and around the elders and the four living creatures, they prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is a people that longs to see. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. These words are taken from today's gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, as I mentioned, we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. So it's not just all the saints that we know of that have been canonized by the church through the centuries, of which there are many. In fact, we have three every single day in our liturgical calendar. But also for those whom we don't know that have made it back home to heaven. Anyone who is in heaven is a saint. And if we want to learn how to be a saint, we must look at the saints. And one thing that we do know is our being made in the image and likeness of God is that every single one of us has within us the potential to be a saint. When we heard in the first reading that they were made clean in the blood of the Lamb, they were made white in the blood of the Lamb, that means 
that they were washed by Jesus. Now, this is an example. If we buy ourselves a brand new silver goblet, it's shiny, it's perfect, it's brand new. Over time, what happens? It tarnishes. At first, just a little, and then over time, it can turn blue or even black. And so we get some silvo or some polish, and we polish it, and it looks just like new again. That is like our souls. We are born with a pure soul. And especially when we're baptized, it's pure. But over time, with sin and everything else, it can tarnish. So we need to be washed in Jesus through his sacraments, especially reconciliation the Eucharist. And then it's clean again. And the cleaner that we keep our souls, the closer we are to our eternal home in heaven, thus being a saint. And our beautiful roadmap for that was given in our gospel from Matthew today, the Sermon on the Mount. We all know the whole thing. And if we stay on, on the top side, we will get the benefits on the bottom side that we have saved man. So as we go through our day and we think about all those saints who have gone before us, let us also realize that we have that capacity and potential ourselves. If we follow the Beatitudes, if we keep close to Christ and his sacraments through the church, we also one day through the grace of God and the Holy Spirit may become saints as well. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us call on the Lord who has done great things for us and will do greater still. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, her ministers and followers, like the blind Bartimaeus, may we be gracious recipients of the miraculous love and providence of our Lord as we strive for sainthood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit will renew the dedication of those leaders working for peace among all nations of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord to the United States as we prepare for our November elections, that we engage in honest conversation about the complex issues, take seriously our privilege and responsibility to vote, and pray for the conversion of our country back to Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord that we receive the grace to be instruments of Christ's compassion in our local community. May we reach out to those in need with generosity, kindness, and humility. We pray to the Lord, Lord for all who are sick, especially those in our parish prayer list, that Christ, the great physician, may heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For all the needs and intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For all those who have died and those who will die today, that they may rest in the arms of our Savior, we pray to the Lord. 
Almighty God, you are the source of every blessing, and we give you praise and thanks. Accept our humble prayers, both spoken and unspoken, and grant what we need according to your holy will, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice, which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept this sacrifice from my hands. The praise and glory of his name for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Almighty God, we thank you for all the graces you have given to your saints and to us. Accept this sacrifice that we offer in honor of all your saints. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Today we honor all the saints of your holy church, those who have gone before us, those in our midst, and those who are yet to come. Marked with the seal of salvation, these holy men and women encourage the faithful of your church to pursue lives of Christian maturity. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 5. It is found on page 92. Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You then established a lasting memorial of your salvation. On the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself, he took bread, gave you thanks, blessed it and broke it, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. With supper it ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks and blessed it, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me.
So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death on the cross. Therefore you have raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. We offer the sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving, and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit and fill these gifts with his life-giving power, that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son. Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In company of Mary, the mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, with holy will abroad and all the saints, together with Anthony, our prime bishop, Charles, our administrator, and with all bishops, priests, and deacons, as well as your whole church, we praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us say together the second communion prayer found on page 98. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Blood of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. The body and blood of Christ. Those who are joining us online, please join me now in the prayer act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, 
by asking you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul, embrace you and unite myself with you, may I never be separated from you, inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior, amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. For the Lord loves justice and does not abandon the faithful. The just will possess the land and live in it forever. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you established our ancestors in the faith and brought them to perfection. Through this holy, through this holy Eucharist, bring us with all your saints to everlasting glory. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. So join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for joining us for our Holy Mass today. Tomorrow we will celebrate the Memorial of All Souls, where we will read the Remembrance List. And that will be at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. We will also have our 5, 5 p.m. Mass for the Vigil for the 31st Sunday of Ordinary Time. And then on Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, remember to set your clocks uh, forward this weekend. Or back this weekend, back um, midnight. Our mass will be thirty first Sunday ordinary time, and next week there will only be one weekday mass, and that will be on Monday. So we hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace. Fight evil wherever you find it. And spread joy and the word of God wherever you go. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who thee by faith before the world confess. Thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia.